Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chenzor Dynasty. We're going to begin the Q&A portion of the show here at this point. And uh, so if you guys want to ask me a question, make sure you type at jchenzor on the site. Uh, make sure you type at jchenzor in the chat. Uh, I do want to address something a little bit earlier that I saw from Zero Striker saying that Gamer B is going to win the LCQ. He's calling it. I think that's, a, that's an interesting prediction. It's tough. I know his year hasn't been as strong. Thank you to The Closer 6 for the subscription. Suck my nuts, The Closer 6. Thank you for the subscription very much. Much appreciated. I hope you know what that inside joke is and you're not mortified that I'm telling you to perform something completely profane against me. Um, but, uh, yeah, Gamer B winning the LCQ for CPT is a, is a rough one. Uh, I know he hasn't been performing as well recently, and, you know, with guys like, uh, freaking Itazan, who I'm sure is gonna show up and still try to qualify that way. I mean, remember, Itazan was second place last year, and he hasn't qualified this year, so he's gonna be terrified. He's gonna t be terrified. We did talk about the error situation, C-Tech, last night. We talked about that, and it's really unfortunate. I'm really sad about that, but you know what? When your pilot says, we're going to fly 15 hours over the ocean on partial power, that's kind of a big uh, WTF at that point. And I don't blame it. I don't blame Eris at all. Eris already has a fear of flying, and now you're going to tell him to fly 15 hours over the Pacific Ocean with partial power on the plane? What does that even mean? Does partial power mean... 90% power or 10% power? Like, that is a terrifying thing to say, right? I would almost rather have the pilot say, like, half power, because at least then you have an idea, but partial power is terrifying, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, he just spent an hour talking about it right now. Yeah, absolutely, dude. I just, dude, uh, if Eris just talked about it, he has every right to, to, to not go there. Hang on, I'm going to grab some more water. Um, but, yeah, he has every right to not want to go. Uh, when I was very, very young, I was also scared of flying, but uh, I quickly got over that. I quickly got over that just from the statistical analysis of the whole entire thing. And now I fly constantly, so now flying is like barely even registers on my brain at some point in time, so... But yeah, I am on the Q&A session, so if there's any other questions that people want to ask about or even expand on the topic of the, the websites and, and, you know, their, their inability to continue making uh, profits and stuff like that, it's, it's a frustrating situation because, you know, I really want Shoryuken.com to be successful. I helped a lot with it because I did a lot of stuff, um, uh, you know, with it before. Uh, I mean, Choy Sauce right now, I mean, my favorite part of Top Tier GG is the fact that you guys are trying very hard not to do a lot of, um, you know, clickbaity stuff. And you guys are trying to focus a lot on the community aspects. I do like the, the community stuff that you guys have. Every time people ask me about it, I keep, and, and see, this is, again, it's my fault. I keep forgetting to link people to your site, to check your site, to see what's out there already. Um, so it's, it's one of those things that it's a tough situation. I'm not sure exactly how, uh, to, to, to handle this kind of situation. Uh, I'm not sure what the best way to, to make us, to make sites like that succeed. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a rough road out there. And, and, you know, again, if I had the answers to it, I'm sure someone else could have had the answers to it already and they'd have already implemented it. I would love to see sure you can, uh, you know, be a center of fighting game community again, but the forums just don't work anymore. Discord and, uh, and Twitter have basically superseded forums. Uh, and, uh, the, the front page is, is too hard to maintain because, you know, you need to hire people to write. You need to hire people to continue to update it. And basically, it earns no money. So it's a tough situation. Um, so uh, The Closer 6 asks, Who do I think will win TWT LCQ? Uh, what fighting games am I currently playing? I think the TWT LCQ might be won by uh, Atif Butt, right? Because he has not qualified yet. A Weiss Honey and Arslan Ash have both qualified. And Pakistan has already proven to be some of the strongest. 
uh, I think he has a really, really good chance. Uh, the fighting games I'm currently playing are Street Fighter V. I was playing a bunch of Tekken in October, and then uh, also Samurai Showdown I've been playing as well. I really want to get back into Soul Calibur. I've been dabbling in Power Rangers before I go to sleep uh, in my bed on my Switch every once in a while. Uh, when the new Eunice comes out, I'll probably end up playing that a little bit as well. Uh, Sub Zero Smoke Rain asks, oh, Tubo were asked, when are we playing Sam Show? Uh, maybe on Friday, actually. I'm going to be doing that beginner lobby thing. Maybe towards the end, we can just like get some matches in there. I'm horribly rusty right now, so I don't know how well I'll do, but it should be fun to play. It'll be good to get back into the high level play. Uh, Sub Zero Smoke Rain, well, Lord BBH asks, is Akuma a weak character? Akuma's never a weak character. Uh, not even in Tekken. Sub Zero Smoke Rain asks, is there too much f a focus on short form media? Twitter, Discord, these things feel temporarily compared, temporary confused to f compared to forms. Yeah, absolutely. But that's the thing. The whole society these days is all about uh, quick bites now because there's so much information. Before you had the time to read long form information, uh, long form information because you only were introduced to the information that you cared about, right? Nowadays, because of social media, you're getting news about fighting games. You're going to run into something about basketball. Like if you're following me, you're going to get tap in. And then some guy's going to retweet something about government and politics. You're going to retweet. And so you're getting so much information right now. You don't have time to read the in-depth stuff that you used to have before when your focus on the internet is where you only went to a sports site. You only went to showyoucan.com. You only went somewhere else. And so what happens is the ability to absorb long form information is gone because you're being inundated with interesting stuff, right? You're being inundated with, I actually really kind of want to know about that. I kind of actually want to know about that. I kind of want to know about that. And so you're inundated with so much stuff that it's, it's impossible to dedicate yourself to long form content. And so you don't want to sit there and read an article. I mean, you even see it on Facebook now, right? When you look at an article, it says about a minute read, about a three minute read. Like they have to put that there to tempt people to click on it to think that it's short enough that they can be done with it in two minutes. If it said about a 10 minute read, everyone's going to be like, well, then skip it. No one will read it anymore. And so, yeah, we are stuck in this very short form kind of uh, uh, society where not only do we want to read short things, but like you said, they don't even exist anymore after a while. All the tech that we find on Twitter disappears, right? All that tech just goes away. And then it's lost in the ether because Twitter is also notoriously awful for searching and very, 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 very bad uh, for sorting likes. Like if Twitter just made it so that you could sort likes and put them into categories, like when you like it, add it to a folder that you can create. God, that would be so great. That would be so wonderful. So, but you know uh yeah please disable your ad blocker i mean that's the thing right sometimes you do need to disable your ad blockers to support sites like that i mean tom cannon literally wrote a post where he said the reason why shoryuken was failing is because ad blockers got too good and it killed all their revenue on the front page and because of that they couldn't pay any writers anymore tom cannon was like look Look, we tried to do the site. We had good writers. We had good editors and chiefs, editor and chiefs, and we tried our best, but the ad blockers got too good, and so we just couldn't afford to pay the writers what they deserved anymore. So we had to let them all go, and so there's no more content. So a lot of the times, yeah, we put on these ad blockers and everything like that because we hate these intrusive ads, but it's the only way to get the good things that you want. You know, you're, it's weird. I actually don't use ad blockers, right? I just, I just go and accept most of the ads that I run into. And because I just know that's the only way you can support a lot of things. That's the best way you can support it. I know people think that they're like, they're, they're thinking just in their bubble that I hate these intrusive ads. But when you do that, you kill the things that you love out there. You, you, you kill the things that you want. Some ads have viruses though. That's the, that's the other problem. There's the other problem is that, you know, things have gotten even more awful that people would take advantage of ads and cause people viruses and stuff like that. That's a, 
It's the, oh god, that's really annoying, and it, and it sucks. It sucks because um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what the answer is because every time you know you try to come up with something that's genuine and be like, hey, I want to support this thing, it turns out to be a bad idea because scumbags out there want to do stuff like write viruses and uh, and 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 cause everybody misery, you know. Ugh. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Yeah, YouTube, for example, can show me ads three times to five times longer than the actual content I am there to watch. Most of the time, those ads are skippable, but the guys who set their ads to not be skippable, that is an option as a creator. You can set your ads to not be skippable to try to get more uh, money from people, but then, then people will see that and just be like, I'm not gonna wait through this ad to watch your content, and then they're basically done, so. It's, it's weird. Uh, yeah, and Google and Facebook tracking you through ads and track. Whole thing is just really annoying. Added problem is the fact that they gather, that, that gather in any income is frowned upon in the FGC. Why is this mentality commonplace? It's because the FGC is poverty. <laughs> because most people don't have a lot of money to go around in the fighting game community. Uh, uh, and this is true of just the internet space overall, and it's gotten worse over time because half the pla half the money on the planet is owned by like eight people, ten people, or something like that, right? So, you know, it's just uh, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer at this point in time. Uh, th there's just not a lot of money to go around, and uh, when like. Uh, I, the reason why I, I was always anti-MLG a long time ago is because I knew the people running MLG are the ones making all the money. When people talk about esports and esports uh, has such a ton of money, uh, you know, that goes to the 1%, right? Sagem is making money. But the thing about Sagem here, uh, and I want people to understand this about Sagem as well, okay? The man puts in his work, okay? He streamed at a consistent schedule for an entire year. He made sure to never give in to laziness. He has made sure he has produced excellent content and he has learned to speak concisely and he has done a lot of very, very smart things. Now, not a lot of people are able to do that. You know, for example, myself, uh, I, I fall victim to my own uh, depression. Uh, I fall victim to my own laziness many times. Uh, my introvertedness gets in the way a lot of times. I'm trying to solve that right now. Sep September was my moment of forcing myself to stream every day to get myself comfortable with starting the stream. And it's actually worked. Uh, a lot of times I, I, I'm just like, it's four o'clock, time for me to start streaming and I'll just do it now. It feels more natural for me now, uh, thanks to September. And that's now, this is my goal is to try to emulate a lot of stuff. And in fact, the Chen reaction, the start of my stream talking about topics is, was all came from Sajam. He was the one who gave me the idea to do that. He was like, look, James, people want to hear you talk about fighting games. Talk about fighting games, you know? And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do that. So... Uh, Sejam is doing a lot of good things. He's doing a lot of good work. The, he deserves all that he's getting because he's put in the work and he's dedicated and he's done a great job with it and he's hardworking. Just like Maximilian, right? Maximilian was the same way. A lot of people used to get mad that people would donate a, like $3,000 to Maximilian. People were like, what? He's just sitting there and screaming on stream and stuff. No, he works like 100 hours a week. Right? That guy is like editing videos and rendering and doing this and then running a stream and then doing all this other stuff. Like these people are putting in the work and when they put in the work, they get what they deserve, right? They, they are getting what they deserve. I have less than a hundred subscribers. I am getting what I deserve because I am not streaming consistently. I am not doing a good enough job, even though at the beginning of this year I said, I am going to stream consistently and I did not. Right, so this is completely on me, and I totally get that. I'm, I'm not gonna begrudge that. I'm not gonna be that guy who's like, why does this guy get so many views, and I, I don't get as many views? It's because I'm not putting in the work. <laughs> it's just, a, it's just a hundred percent truth to it, right? There's just a hundred percent truth to it. So, 
No, uh, that's that's how it works. So, you know, I'm going to try to do better this year. I'm going to try to be more consistent. This year I said I was going to start a bunch of first attacks. I was going to do a bunch of stuff. I tried to restart the FGC Locals of the World program, and I lazed out on that as well. It's a lot of work doing a lot of stuff, especially when you're doing it by yourself. You know, having somebody else to help you always helps a lot. Oh, thank you, big tummy dummy. Oh, Sam Show Earthquake Rules. <laughs> nice. That's right. I think you were the one that was playing in the in the in the thing uh, a few weeks ago, right? Are you the same one? I'm not sure. But here's the thing, though. It's um. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? She oh, that's right. The FGC locals of the world and just having people help you out. So Sejam, for example, uh, has magic most who helps him with a lot of the editing. Eris has uh, no pants that helps him with a lot of the editing. And, you know, fortunately for them, they all started early enough that, you know, uh, what they do is they, uh, you know, um, they have the revenue. Like, I've unfortunately gone too far down the hole that I don't have the revenue to pay anybody to do any editing uh, to get to the point where I can actually afford to pay them. Uh, that's the hard part, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to work around that right now. I've had a few people come up to me and offer to help me edit, but uh, it's literally an expense that I cannot uh, cover right now. And so it's uh, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of work. It's it's tough. It's a tough thing to, to manage. So I'm trying to be a little more dedicated about editing. For example, the uh, Chen reaction that I did on Monday went up on YouTube on uh, on basically the same day. So uh, I'm gonna try to make sure I, I I keep this kind of pace up. I after I'm done with this, I'm gonna try to edit this video and try to get it up tomorrow as well. I've been getting the Tuesday show up the next day. And that probably is going to mean it's going to cut into my night stream, so I'm not going to be able to do Breath of the Wild streams as much anymore, but that's just the, that's just the way it works. So, um, uh, how do you do, deal with e-fame? That's, that's another question that's going to take a while to talk about wave gen. Uh, let me answer I'm Max Mouse real quick. How many subs until you start making money? Um, I'll tell you this right now. Every sub is $2.50 to the person it's five dollars half of it goes to twitch half of it goes to me so two dollars and fifty cents uh times 88 two dollars and fifty cents times 88 that is 220 dollars a month that i'm getting from 88 subs okay 220 dollars <laughs> that i'm getting per month from twitch so, needless to say, that's nothing, right? Now, if you're like Sejam and you've gotten up to 1,000 subscribers, right? Um, what is that? 2.5 uh, times 1,000. Then that's 2,500, right? Then that's a point. Oh, thank you, Sub-Zero Smoke Rain. Thank you for the subscription. That, that, uh, yeah, the tax is not fun either, so... Are you not allowed to talk about your sub income? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I have the subscriber count right down there. It's not hard for people to figure out what the subscribe. What, like, I, I don't know what Sejam's making. I'm just making the assumption based off of how many subscribers. He, he tweeted a while ago, thanks, everybody, for giving me 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, I'm just going off of that number over there. So, um, but yeah, thank you for the subscription, uh, Sub-Zero Smoke Rain. Uh, so that's the whole thing, right? So uh, that's the thing. You've got to build it up. You've got to build it up to the point where you're actually, yeah, when you get, uh, no, no, no. When you're partnered up, that's when you get the 250, I believe. I believe that's when you get the half of it. Uh, but what the more, it's weird because it's the same thing. The rich get richer. The more subs you get, the higher percentage you do get. So once you get into that super streamer level, you actually start making more than just half of it and stuff like that. So it's, cr oh, well then there you go. Then if it's half as an affiliate as well. So I don't know, I don't know. But see, the thing is, I don't need 2K monthly subscribers to make a living because I'm also doing commentary, right? So I can do commentary as well. Uh, to, so I, I'm trying to have uh, Twitch be the, uh, you know, like the, the, the thing that helps me, helps sustain, right? I don't need 2,000 subs. Like if I can get even get like 500 subs, if, 
if I could get like uh, something around 500, 600 subs, that would even be a help already because then I would be able to afford health care. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what is like, what would 500 subs be? Uh, so that would be an extra 1250 a month. See, that would, that would be uh, helpful a lot. That would be helpful a lot. So, um, yeah, it's a tricky situation out there, man. <laughs> but again, like, I'm not trying to sit here and be like, woe is me, poor me. Because like I said, I know my low sub count. I know my low uh, viewer follower count is my fault. Because obviously there are people out there who could make it work. They're the people who put in the work. They're the ones who put in the time. They're the ones who are dedicated to, to this task. You know what I mean? They're the ones who could do it. I know it's my fault that I am not as successful as a streamer. That's not a problem. I have, I have no, I, there's no woe is me situation here with the, oh, shout outs to uh, Suz Ladies Killer. I hope I pronounced that right. Suz Lazy Ladies Killer. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Suz, for the subscription. So, uh, yeah, my only source of income is FGC stuff right now. I used to have a job three years ago. I got laid off. Uh, I had just turned 40, so I was like midlife crisis mode. I was like, you know what? I need to give the FGC full-time stuff a chance. I've been doing that. And the thing about it is I enjoy it so much. And it's really changed. You know, it's weird. I've traded one stress for the other. Before I had the programming job and I was making a lot of money, but I just wasn't happy. Oh, thank you for the donation, Anonymous. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, much appreciated. But like the the the, the whole the, the whole crazy thing is like like I I was work I was making a lot of money at my programming job. I'm building up a lot of savings and everything like that. But I was just miserable. My life was just miserable. Like every single day, I just like hated everything. And uh, it was like the height of my depression. And then when I got laid off, it was like one of the happiest days of my life because I was just like, I'm free. And so I decided to do the FGC stuff. Now that I'm doing the FGC stuff, I'm ecstatic. I love it. I, I love doing this stuff. I love traveling. I love meeting people. I love commentary. I love, you know, trying to teach fighting games. I love trying to help people and all this stuff like that. But the financial situation is not so great. So now I'm stressed out about that. That's just the way the life works, right? It's very hard to do what you love for a living. That's just the nature of the beast. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the problem, Tubaware, but I'm broke. <laughs> but I'm definitely happier, but at the same time, there's a different kind of stress because I look at my bank account, and as I've told people, I've just had to spend a crap ton of money doing home repairs, so there went all of my savings, and so basically, I'm kind of uh, in, a, in a dangerous situation right now. I'm, I'm in a dangerous situation right now. So we're kind of at the end of it. And also this year, I can't not have health care. I need to buy health care. So uh, because I, I, at this age, your body starts falling apart. I've got a lot of things I need to go see the doctor that I've been putting off this last year. I need the, the insurance to go and uh, to go see the doctor again. So uh, I need to buy health insurance again this year. That's gonna cost me a few hundred dollars a month. Like, can you imagine right now, just to buy health care right now, that's gonna be, that's gonna cost more than the subs that I have right now. You know, the subs that I have right now can't even afford to cover my health insurance per month at this point in time. So uh, that's, the, that's the tricky part right now, so. And again, what a lot of people also don't realize too is all the money that I earn from events is untaxed, right? So everything that I earn from events, I eventually have to take a huge chunk of that and throw it into the government and basically cry <laughs> when that happens. The, basically, America is not designed for freelancers. They have rigged it so that freelancing is as un livable as possible because they want you to work for corporations because the corporations are the ones that can afford the bulk medical care, the bulk this, the bulk that, right? So the pharmaceutical industry can get away with charging these prices because that's part of the job benefits that you earn, right? So they want you working for these companies so the companies will buy an insurance for another head 
etc etc if you make health insurance free if you do all these things if you make taxes a lot easier to handle all this stuff like that that's bad for the big corporations the big corporations can't make as much money etc etc so uh, I have thought about moving out of California a lot uh, the closer unfortunately uh, that probably wouldn't necessarily help too much being in California does create a lot of extra opportunities. Also, as I mentioned in my last stream, I'm in a particularly interesting situation because this home that I'm in, I own this home and uh, the property value has gotten up a lot since I've bought it. So a, most, a lot of my finances are in equity right now, are in this property here. So this is kind of like uh, where most of my money is. And because I've been living here for 15 years, 15 plus years. I got it so long ago that my mortgage is actually pretty decent right now for living in California. So the the balances are kind of weighing each other decently. It's just that the cost of doing everything else here is a lot more expensive. Uh, so it's kind of a weird thing. I've thought about moving to Canada just to get free health care. I've thought about moving to Japan just to try living there for a little bit every once in a while and stuff like that. But that would require me to sell this place. And if I sold this place, then, yeah, there's a lot of, like, crazy things going on. So, uh, but, yeah, again, Super Famicom. And, and, again, like, I'm not here trying to beg you guys for money here uh, unless, you know, you want to support. That's the whole thing, right? The, the subscriptions, the donations, all that stuff like that is out of the kindness of your own heart. And so, you know, while I appreciate a lot of you guys saying, like, I promise to support as soon as I can as I get a job, dude, don't even sweat it. Don't even consider it a stressor. Get yourself together first, right? Don't worry about me. I've got my own problems to deal. I'm, this is my situation. This is something that I need to take care of, and I've chosen to do it this very awkward way. You don't even have to feel bad for not subbing to me. You don't have to feel bad about it at all, right? There's, there's no point in time that I'm trying to guilt anyone to sub to me. The, oh, I talk about a lot of these financial situations. Yeah, it sounds like a woe is me, please support me, bro, kind of thing. But at the same time, it's just more information, just being out there, being upfront about what's going on. But at any point in time, if whatever I'm saying start, starts sounding like me playing my tiny little violin, first world problems kind of thing, I own property, I'm broke, you know, like, I mean, really, honestly, I'm still better off than a lot of people are out there, right? A lot of people deserve your money more than I do. But the thing is, I want to make sure that I, if you do subscribe to me, if you do donate to me, that I'm making it worth your money. I'm not going to take your donations and not go to a tournament. <laughs> uh, uh, but I, I want to make sure that I'm creating the content for you guys that I am doing the contributions to make it worth you actually giving me subscriptions and stuff like that. So that's that's the whole idea, basically. That's the whole idea. So um, so again, you know, don't don't feel bad that you're unable to support me or whatever like that. Take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Get yourself together. If you get a job and you start earning money, don't even worry about subscribing to me or donating to me for years. Take care of yourself, man. Make sure you're good. Make sure you're good. I'll, I'll figure out what to do about myself. Uh, the subscriptions help. But like I said, I just want to make sure that I make it worth it, right? I want to make sure that I feel like I deserve your support. That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, so, um, question about sites again. Is there some kind of content you think is missing from every FGC site that is needed? Uh, I do think that they're... Oh my god! Duo, shoot, Duo 11! Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Duo 11. Hey, man, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate it, man. <sighs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, fair enough, Duo 11. Fair enough, but that's that's very generous, dude. That's very generous. 
Oh, much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. So, uh, means a lot. Means a lot, dude. Means a lot. Um, shoot, what was I saying before that happened? Before I, I got, oh, that's right. The content that is missing. Choi Sauce asking about the content that is missing. Uh, I do think that there is some content that is missing. Uh, Choi Sauce, I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, uh, again, this has nothing to do with, you know, how I feel about you or anything like that, but I have an idea that I really want to pitch to Tom Cannon uh, for showryukin.com. And uh, if that works out, then, you know, hopefully he can do something with that. And then, uh, and then basically, if that doesn't work with Tom, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it to you. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it to you uh, after a while, so... <laughs> But thank you again, Duo11. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate that, dude. That That's really, really, really cool. So, uh, I mean, be, the, Shoryuken.com as an application, what you actually, what a lot of people don't actually know, um, most apps for websites are just the website. Most apps for websites are just a web page that you go to and it's just the mobile version of the site that's designed for touch screen. So if they created a, a mobile version of it, it would be the same thing as just going to the site on Chrome, basically, kind of stuff like that. So, And Lord BBH knows, I, I never actually pull on Final Fantasy Record Keeper for money. <laughs> that's just, uh, never happens. But uh, thank you again, uh, Duo11. Uh, yeah, well, actually, Ace King Offsuit is working for, shoot, what is that site called? He's working for something now. Uh, Juked. That's what it is, Auric. Thank you very much. Uh, he's doing that for Juke. Do you know if he's getting paid for that, Auric? Do you know if he's, uh, if he's actually, uh, getting funded by that? I'm curious about that myself, because it would be fantastic if he did, because he does so much work. Um, excuse me, Oof. I think uh, the, all that, the gift subs gave me heartburn right there. <laughs> but again, thank you again for that. I, I don't know why the thing hasn't uh, uh, updated here. Yeah, you suspect not. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough situation, right? It's, it's all weird. Uh, but, you know, again, that's the problem, right? You need to have a site that makes money, et cetera, et cetera, and you just don't have that kind of thing, right? You just don't have that kind of situation. It's really, really kind of tough. So how can someone get a paid gig with a fighting game site or small company? That is a great question. I don't know. <laughs> um, because a lot of times the fighting game companies uh, right now, uh, the fighting game sites out there aren't paying. Right, and they're all being done out of love. Event Hubs is trying their best to pay their writers, but I know that they're not getting paid much because someone's posted up a, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, I think it was like someone applied and they got the email about the rates and then that went public somehow or something. But I know they're not getting much for their work, but that's also because the site's just not making money, which is what I was talking about earlier, right? They gotta pay that, they gotta pay the hosting costs. People have ad blockers, so they're hurting uh, Event Hub's ability to pay all those people. And so what do they do? They've gotta write the clickbait articles. They've gotta write the clickbait articles because that's the only way they can get people to click on there. And they're hoping that enough of the people with the, who click on the clickbait articles don't have the ad blockers so that they can actually make some sort of revenue. Uh, how much editing do you do for a video? Um, yeah, DM me as well, Michael Chris. Uh, honestly, my editing is very, very minute just because of the way that I've, I'm purposely doing everything uh, these days. So that's why the Tuesday show, when I upload it, it has no breaks. It, I just put the ads at random times now. I think David might change the ad times to more succinct ad times. I don't put down any of the timestamps in the description. David does that afterwards. I basically made the Tuesday show as little effort edit as possible. Also, the audio quality is really bad. I'm very bad at audio, so the podcast goes up with really poor audio quality, and that's something I wish I could fix. So there's a lot of things that corners that I cut 
uh, that if I had editors, like even for example, like if I streamed myself playing my uh, learn to fight sessions, or sometimes while I'm streaming fighting games, I'll have these nuggets of wisdom that I throw out there that are just really, really good information and should be in a video themselves. Guys like No Pants and Magic Most are really good at finding those things, clipping them and putting them into their own YouTube videos and stuff like that. Like if I had someone who watched a lot of my streams and were able to clip out those things and create create help create those little tidbit contents like that or take my learn to fight episodes and edit them down so like during the periods of time where nothing is happening and I'm waiting for a match like you know clip out those kind of things that's kind of the things that I'm looking for uh, in news right there um, flash news MDZ Jimmy released some data on SFV stage lag online and plan to test more variable that's cool Okay, okay, I'm totally down for that. Uh, that's that. That'd be awesome. Um, okay, yeah, Michael, <laughs> you have a lot of free times at your current job. No problem, dude. Just let me know, Michael, Chris. Uh, send me a DM on Twitter. Send me a DM on. Do you have Twitter, Michael? If you do, just feel free to send me a uh, a DM there, and we can talk for sure. And again, keep in mind too that I don't feel good about not paying somebody for doing stuff. I'm trying to find the magic balance of something that I can afford to pay somebody <laughs> and also not take advantage of people's kindness because I'm personally against taking advantage of people who just want to be friendly to me and help me out because I just think that sucks. I, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to do it. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, sure, no problem, we'll talk, Michael, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk for sure, for sure. Uh, oh, I see some Japanese in the chat, dang, that's crazy. Uh, DJ Blues, your logo is pink because you have been a three-month subscriber. Green is one-month subscription, pink is three-month, uh, blue means you've been here for a year, and gold means you have been a subscriber for two months. Uh... Gray means you've been here for over half a year. So Case Money has a gray one because he's been here for eight months. Uh, I don't see any gold subscribers here in the chat right now. Oh, wait, no, here's one. Ah, Drunken Banana. Drunken Banana has been here for 32, 32 months. There you go. So uh, Drunken Banana has definitely been supporting me for a very long time. So the color of your badge determines uh, uh, of your Delta Red logo determines how long you've been here so <laughs> gold is one year one year is the best that i have uh one year is the best that i have so uh, there is no red background imax mouse i don't have one with a red background it's green it's pink it's gray then blue then gold is basically is what it is so that's how it works so that's what i have i don't have a red background one yet <clears throat> Uh, hello, Uncle Acid 93. Welcome to the chat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, too, Atomic Number. I've, like, created a bunch of, like, emotes. But uh, emotes are like, are, 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 like, striking thunder, man. Like, finding the emotes that people really love, you know. I, I've tried to create a bunch of stuff. Like, these are the emotes that I have, basically, right there, outside of all my cat emotes. <laughs> and, uh... You know, I haven't quite found the, 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 the liquid gold yet uh, in terms of uh, emotes. <laughs> Catching lightning in a bottle, yep. Uh, I love my cat ones, dude. I love my cat ones, but, you know, they're definitely very specific to the people who are uh, on the stream. So, um, but yeah, um, if there's any other questions, if there's not any other questions... Uh, what I'm probably, yeah, I should probably make a table flip emote, actually, at some point in time. Uh, but what I'm going to do here, unless anybody has any questions, I'm going to go ahead and run another minute ad. And then when I come back, I'm going to bust out the Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Uh, they've been giving away tickets for a Black Friday poll, which is 10 polls of, uh, of uh, basically 10 free polls. So I'm going to do all those polls on stream. Uh, I may also spend some mithril to pull on the recent Earth uh, banner that just came out because I really need Earth stuff. 
So I'm probably gonna pull a bunch of that stuff and then after that, I am going to then go and pull a bunch of Teppin stuff and play a bunch of Teppin matches on stream, see how close I can get to champion. Uh, and then that way I can also have uh, uh, some records of my matches. So that way um, I can show some people who are trying to help me in Teppin. <laughs> um, uh, okay, yeah, KC Fuseco, message me on Twitter as well. I mean, if I can get an army of like several people, that way I don't feel like I'm overwhelming people with like, here, edit this, edit this. Like if I can get different people to, to, to work on different projects, that I think that would actually be really, really, really cool. So um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna run a quick ad. I'll be right back, don't go anywhere. And uh, uh, Teppin polls after this. Yeah, Teppin polls. Oh, shout out to Coinbox Tees. Coinbox Tees, thank you for the subscription. Uh, actually, I'll do this first. We can watch the super old ad. Watch the super old ad from, um, from way back in the day when they released a new model of the Atari 2600 at a much lower price to try to get people to buy it again. And again, this was back in the 80s when rap was becoming the big thing. And so everybody was trying to do like rap kind of stuff. So here we go. Yeah, so history. In 1984, video games were dead. There was a huge crash. And so Atari tried to bring things back. The fun is back. Oh, yes, sirree. It's the 2600 from Atari. It's the video system with classics galore. From space invaders to cars that roar. A real hip joystick controls the screen. Solaris is hot and midnight magic's mean. And one more thing, it's got a special low price. Under 50 bucks. 50 Under the bucks? bucks? Now, isn't that nice? Ooh, the fun is, is back. back. Oh, yes, sirree. It's the 2600 from Atari. Wow, the memories, <laughs> the memories, <laughs> holy crap, oh my god, the memories, fun is back, oh yes, re yeah, the redesigned 2600, god, the memories. <laughs> <laughs> 